Hey friends, I'm Ryan and I'm the developer of AutoPad. This video is just a quick walkthrough of the new features in version 1.8. This is for the iOS version. You can check out the individual videos I've made on each one for a little bit of a deeper dive. The first big feature we have is in the sound menu. You got a plus button up there. That plus button is for importing sounds. This is a widely requested feature. It's not an in-app purchase, and you can use the Apple Files app to easily import any kind of audio file that you want. In set list mode, we have two buttons down here. You have a little set list manager, and the share button is for airdropping your set lists to your friends, other friends with iOS devices, you can send your set list right to them and you can stay easily on the same page as the rest of your band. In the menu, we have new options for syncing tempo. Ableton Link is a great piece of technology that allows you to sync the clock and the metronome across devices and apps that are on the same Wi-Fi network. It works extremely well. All you have to do is enable Ableton Link on the devices that you want to sync up. And if they're on the same Wi-Fi network, they will stay in sync. Ableton Link is a democratic uh, means for keeping time. So if you change the tempo on any device, all the other linked devices will follow suit. We also have the option for Bluetooth MIDI. You can click on that magnifying glass and use a Bluetooth MIDI controller. The other really exciting feature is that you can bring AutoPad into audio unit hosts as an audio unit extension. This is a really exciting new feature. It took me a lot of work. I hope you like it. It opens AutoPad up, just makes it so much more flexible. And it's not a it's not an in-app purchase either. This is um, just a really super flexible way to use AutoPad. You can sync your click to the host. You have all of your set lists available. It should note though, you can't actually, oops, let me get over here. You can't actually import sounds or use a store. Um, in the audio unit, you have to use the app for that. One important thing to note is that uh, this actually means now that AutoPad is not an inter-app audio app anymore. We're completely following Apple's lead here and going with the audio unit. And I think you'll find that it's much more stable, much more user-friendly, as long as you keep a little of the differences in mind. So those are the new features. Hope you like them. Hope you check them out. I would love it if you would leave a kind review on the App Store. And thanks so much for using AutoPad. I'm super motivated to keep making this a good tool for people in their worship ministries and beyond.